Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to create a jumping and a falling animation. Well, um, let's begin by first seeing what the problem is or what is it that we're trying to improve, okay? Let's go to the play mode and we have the cat. Now, let's try to jump the cat by hitting the up arrow or the A button. I'm going to use the up arrow in here. Now, if you notice, the cat jumps and it's got a nice jump animation and when it returns to the ground there is a idle animation that's applied but hey do you think it would be good if the cat starts falling down and the cat shows the falling animation well now i've loaded some functionality and watch what happens when i press the up arrow did you notice that something is different now okay alrighty so now the cat jumps and when the cat is falling the cat has a nice little falling animation okay there okay so in this quick tutorial i'm going to show you how easy it is to build this jumping and then a falling animation and when the cat falls and hits the ground it returns to the idle animation okay so let's hit the play mode and let's start coding okay before we get started let me break down the process into three steps. First step is you'll create the falling animation for the player. In this case, it's our cat. The second step is you'll come down to the animator window and make some changes here. And the third and the last step is you'll do some scripting, which will take care of the falling and jumping animations. Okay, so let's get started with the first step of creating the falling animation for the cat. Select the cat here in the hierarchy panel and switch to the animation window. If you don't have this animation window, you can click window and select animation from here, okay? This will open up your animation window and you can drag the window and drop it somewhere. Once you have highlighted the cat and you have the animation window up and run, have a look here. You have this red button, right? It's a small red button. Just below that you have a drop down. Currently it should be idle. When you click this, you get this menu and select create new clip. It's going to ask you where you want to create your animations. We have a animations folder and inside the cats folder, let's specify falling and click save. Now we get this sort of a setup. Let's quickly go ahead and look inside our sprites and players folder and the cat and let's look for all the sprites with the keyword fall. Select the first sprite, hold down shift and select the last one and it's going to multi-select all of these. Now simply drag and drop these sprites here in the animation window. Change these samples to 15 and that's it. You've just created a falling animation. And also if this is the first tutorial that you're watching and you haven't watched my previous animation tutorials and all of this looks a little complicated for you. Please feel free to have a look at the other animation tutorials and hopefully you'll get a lot of information out there and the whole process will become comfortable for you. Okay, I've given the links for my other tutorials in the description. So with the step one completed, you have the animations for falling for the cat. The second step is to create some changes in your animator. Okay, highlight the cat here in the hierarchy panel and then switch to the animator panel. Now, if you don't have this panel open, you can click window and select animator from here. And this is going to open this window like so, which you can drag and drop. And I like to place it here. Once you have the animator panel up and run and make sure that the cat is highlighted, you're going to see some sort of a configuration like this. And well, all of this was made in our previous tutorials so all of you following from the previous tutorials will be comfortable or will already have the setup and those of you joining from this tutorial um, you can watch those tutorials or I'll tell you what's going on um, we have these couple of animation states already set up and the moment you created the falling animation here you see this this box the falling this was created for you by unity so what we need to do is let me show you I have a diagram here this is what we need to build okay I've shown you when would the change from jumping to falling take place when state value becomes one and when would the animation state change from falling to idle that's when the state becomes zero 
Okay, let's go ahead and quickly build this whole thing. Getting back to the animator, let's delete the walking animation state by hitting Command Delete on Mac or Control Delete or Delete on Windows. Now let's drag this guy falling animation state here and let's look back at our state diagram. Well, we need to create two transitions from falling to idle, from jumping to falling. So let's quickly go ahead and do that. Click jumping. It gets highlighted with the blue border. Right click and select make transition. It's going to give you this arrow. Drag and drop the arrow here on falling and you've just created your first transition from jumping to falling. Then let's look at our diagram. We need another transition from falling to idle. So let's go ahead and do that. Highlight falling, right click, select make transition, and you get this arrow, drag and drop it onto idle, and that's it. You just created your transition from falling to idle. Now let's look at the diagram. We need from falling to running, okay? So make transition like so, drag the arrow, drop it on running, and there we go. We have created all the three transitions. Now, if you look at the diagram, you have an arrow pointing from idle to jumping, okay? But there is no arrow pointing back from jumping to idle like you have here, okay? All those who have it, just select it, hit command delete. It's going to ask you and delete it. There we go. So we're getting close to this setup now. Now let's create the values for the state parameter. To do that, let's begin from jumping to falling. Have a look. The value should be one. State should be one for this transition to take effect. So select this arrow, it turns blue. Look inside the inspector panel. And if you look, it's jumping to falling, right? The arrow is pointing from jumping to falling. So you, you're sure you're following this. And uh, first thing that I like to do is uh, uncheck has exit time, uncheck fixed duration, and remove transition duration and make sure that it's zero. The reason why we do this is if you keep this checked on, there would be an exit time, okay, a normalized value, 0.25, and there would be some delay in your transitions. You don't want that. And if you keep fixed duration and the value here, again, you would have some delay. So we want our animations immediate. So anytime you want immediate transitions, uncheck the has exit time, remove the check from here, and set all these two values to zero. Coming down, we have a conditions list. Let's hit the plus icon and you get this setup. Let's change state equals one, okay? Like it's shown here, state equals one for jumping to falling, jumping to falling, okay? Now let's configure falling to idle in the same way. Highlight the arrow turns blue, remove has exit time, uncheck fixed duration, remove 0.25, set it back to zero, zero. Click the plus icon, state equals zero, okay? Like this diagram shows you. So you've configured two of the transitions. Now the third one, from falling to running. So highlight this guy here, uncheck has exit time, uncheck fixed duration, remove this value, set it back to zero, come down here, click plus icon, equals two. And that's it, okay. And just verify that this arrow is equal to three. And also make sure you click all of these arrows and please double check that you don't have has exit time or fixed duration checked and make sure that these values are zero, okay? For all of these arrows. And that's it. We've just completed step number two. And in the third step, we'll do some coding now. So let's begin by clicking the scene view and then highlight your CAD game object in the hierarchy. Look inside the inspector panel and let's scroll down. You should have a player manager script. We're going to double click the script here and it's going to open up in Mono Develop. Okay, once the script is loaded, begin by having a look in the update method and at this part here where you have the move player call. Let's write handle, jump, and fall. Okay, now if you notice at this point, all of this text is in red. And that means you've not created this method. So let's go ahead and create it. Copy this from here. Let's scroll down to a suitable part of your code. I guess 
let's write it here so let's type in void paste the name of the method open parentheses close parentheses and you have these two curly brackets and we're ready to write our method code let's begin by adding an if condition if jumping and open and close the curly brackets and now let's have another if and else block if like so and have an else block like so okay now let's begin by saying that if the velocity of the player is positive then you show the jumping animation and the moment velocity changes to negative that means the player starts falling down change the animation to the falling and when the player hits the ground change the animation to idle okay let's see how we can do that through code for this we're going to refer to the rigid body 2d component of the player okay the rb rb dot velocity dot y greater than zero this piece of code means that we're calling the velocity property of the rigid body 2d component and checking its y value okay y means the vertical and we notice that if it's greater than zero means the player is moving up in that case let's write anim.set integer open close parentheses and we're going to pass in the state parameter and set its value to three okay this will set the jumping animation for the player let's copy this from here and paste it in here and we're going to specify one for the falling animation okay if you refer to this diagram if the player is in the jumping mode and state changes to one the transition should happen from jumping to falling and that's what this piece of code here does okay and i guess all looks set now we can do the testing let's switch back to unity hit the play button and let's see what happens here's the cat and we press the up arrow and boom the cat has the falling animation. Congratulations, you've just learned how to create the jumping and falling animations. And you can also do all kind of things here. The cat has a nice jumping and falling animation. It looks pretty cool. And, uh, and at this point, I want to thank one of our wonderful channel subscribers who had sent in this question asking, how can we do this jumping and falling animation? So thank you so much for suggesting this. And I created this video. And I hope you've got some value out of it. So please feel free to like, subscribe, or comment to my videos. And please feel free to suggest tutorial ideas. And I'll see what best I can do, okay? And I wish you a wonderful time learning Unity. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you more of this mobile platformer. We're also going to create the character select screen so that you can see how you can switch between these two characters. Okay, my name is Abel, and I once again thank you for joining me in this video. Happy game programming!